If you're looking for help fixing your American Standard Air Conditioner, look no further. Our comprehensive American Standard Air Conditioner Troubleshooting Guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. The air conditioner won't turn on in addition to checking for problems in your household fuse box. Make sure to check the settings at your thermostat. You may simply have forgotten to set a temperature level that will cause your AC to kick in at the expected time. Also, in some situations, a power surge or a tripped breaker may cause your American Standard Air Conditioner to turn itself off, you can troubleshoot this issue by checking the relevant switches on the indoor and outdoor units. The air conditioner won't cool properly in some circumstances, your American Standard Air Conditioner may turn on, but fail to provide adequate cooling for your home. Two easily solvable air conditioning problems may be responsible for this issue. First, check your thermostat settings and make sure that you have them set low enough to turn the system on at the appropriate time. Also, look for any open windows you might not have noticed previously, if undetected, even one such window can seriously decrease your system's cooling power. The underlying cause of air conditioning problems like improper cooling may also be a malfunction in an AC component called a compressor, which normally moves refrigerant through the system. Lack of adequate airflow A malfunctioning AC system may fail to circulate enough cool air throughout your home. One of the key causes of this problem is a dirty filter somewhere in the system. To troubleshoot this issue, check all relevant locations and replace any filter with obvious signs of dirt, dust accumulation, lack of adequate air conditioner airflow may also be the result of a dirty condenser coil. Problems in this area often arise when something obstructs the passage of air into your outdoor AC unit. Common candidates include leaves, debris and nearby hedges. In turn, the obstructed flow of outdoor air can literally cause the system to freeze up. Look for telltale signs of water on the ground beneath the unit. If you notice any water spots, clear away all obstructions and turn the system off for a few hours. This should give the unit time to thaw out. Indoor air conditioner leaks All air conditioners generate significant amounts of condensation during normal operation. Depending on where you live, the water produced by this process can total as much as several gallons a day. This large amount of water must have somewhere to go. Usually, it's drained from your air handler through an attached tube or a section of PVC pipe. From there, it's forced outside by gravity or a component called a condensate pump. If you notice water pools or active leaks below the indoor unit of your air conditioning system, you have several potential troubleshooting options. First, look for cracks or leaks in the tube or pipe responsible for channeling condensation out of the unit. Next, look for any signs of obstruction within the tube, pipe. If ice is blocking the line, you can follow up by checking for dirty air filters and a lack of adequate refrigerant, strange vent noises, strange or unusual noises coming from your air conditioning. Heating vents have a number of possible causes. Most of the time, what seems like air conditioning problems is nothing more than furniture obstructing the system's return or supply vent openings. However, the humming, thumping or rattling sounds you hear may also indicate the presence of a clogged air filter. Unfortunately, if your troubleshooting steps eliminate these potential candidates, you may have bigger problems, including worn-out AC system components or poorly installed or inadequately sized air ducts.